basically um, gas turbines uh, in general are, I'll say between 30 and 35 or 8% efficient. And that's just a measurement of the energy content of the fuel that's going in the machine versus the actual electrical energy that's coming out, 30 to 38%. But then they put these um, heat recovery systems on, HRSG, commonly referred to in the industry, that capture the waste heat. And that waste heat is turned into steam, which is run through a steam turbine, makes some more power. So when you look at the extra power that you're getting from that, plus the gas turbine, that 35% gas turbine is now a 55% efficient power plant. That's a modern power plant today. They've boasted efficiencies as high as 60% in some super duper models, but um, the ones that are basically in mass quantity around the world in the United States are you know, in the mid 50%. And as I was mentioning earlier, when you run at part load, because you're trying to load follow this power plant with the fluctuating energy requirement, which is uh, I'll say exacerbated by the renewable energy to the point where they have to shut them off sometimes or a lot of times, you can, you can lose half that efficiency just because you're operating at such a low load. So all this good stuff that we put on the ground is now kind of not working so good with the renewable energy. And basically there's, there's many technologies you could de deploy to improve the efficiency of these machines and, and they've done them. Um, but there's a certain limit to how far you can push that product of the gas turbine technology in general until you kind of have to make a, a fundamental shift. And I would say we are kind of like a fundamental shift. So how PowerPhase is proposing to do it and, and we're doing it, we have a version of our system running in multiple parts of the world is um, basically uh, a stepwise process to get uh, to modernize a power plant to make it run more, which makes it more economical and also lower the carbon. So, you know, power plant owners don't build power plants to save carbon. They build them to make money. Um, they have to adhere to the carbon rules. They have to, you know, if you're the president or the CEO of an, ener of an energy company, um, carbon reduction is one of the things that's right in front of you all the time. How are you gonna do that? And what we do is we give a power plant a really nice option to initially just add a missing ingredient to their power plant to make more power. And that missing ingredient is air. So a fundamental characteristic of any gas engine in the world is when the air is less dense, there's less, I'll say mass flow going through the machine. And in order to balance the combustion in your car, in your gas turbine, in your aircraft engine, whatever it is, you have to have the right fuel air mixture. And it's based on mass, not volume. It's based on how many molecules of mass of the different elements. So basically they're forced to reduce the fuel when the density gets lower. Well, density is a function of elevation and temperature primarily. So if you're at, if you're in, in uh, Colorado, guess what? Your power plant makes 25% less power because you're at, you're at a mile high. Um, if you happen to be on a 95 degree day in California, when you need the power the most, you're making 25% less power because it's hot out than what it's nominally built for. So the only thing that's missing is the air. So we add the air and we, when we started this company, the vision was, um, 
energy storage. It was really focused around energy storage. As a matter of fact, the company name Power Phase, it's power and then the word phase, which was portable hybrid air stored energy. So um, that was the vision of the company. But 10 years ago, the world wasn't ready to really pay for energy storage. Now it's a mainstream subject and there's budget for it. So 10 years ago, we figured out how to bring gas in our energy storage device. And we have a product out there running uh, in multiple countries around the world called TurboPhase, which literally just pumps in hot compressed air into the gas turbine, air that's naturally missing in the cycle. And we boost the efficiency and the output of the power plant. And um, if you look at the power plant, which is this huge investment that these owners make, the only thing we're doing to the power plant is we're adding an air pipe, typically a six or eight inch pipe of hot air that's going to the power plant. And our energy storage product has that same pipe. The first step is basically using, instead of a gas driven engine in our, like in our turbo phase product, we use an electric motor. It runs off of renewable energy or excess energy on the grid and basically um, puts that missing air in the power plant. So there's a, a significant carbon reduction because now you're, instead of compressing the air with the power, with the gas turbine, and we're using an alternate source, a carbon free source to pump up the air, put it in the gas turbine and make extra power. Um, and that pipe that's going to the gas turbine, we're demonstrating that. So when we show a power plant owner our storage product, we can say, hey, here's a bunch of data on your gas turbine of what's gonna happen when we put air in your plant. We've been doing it for seven or eight years now, all over the world. The only thing you have to believe is this piece of production compressor product that's been built for 50 years is actually gonna produce the air. So, you know, it's a, it's a fairly simple product. And that's actually one of the things I really like about it um, is when people look at the product, typically the first thing they'll say is, wow, that's simple. Why didn't, why didn't General Electric come up with this 50 years ago? And actually, interestingly enough, one of the guys on the board of directors of Power Phase LLC is um, Mark Little, who was in charge of General Electric's uh, technology for many years. And um, basically, uh, when I asked him that question, he says, well, it's simple. It's not a gas turbine. They think, you, they think like gas turbines. That's what they do. They make gas turbines. So yours isn't a gas turbine. They wouldn't want to do that. They wouldn't think of something like that.